Carly and I'm from Love Pieces of Eight and this December I'm working with Rugby Art Gallery and Museum um, to bring you some lovely festive online workshops. So I'm going to show you how to make um, these lovely little friendship bracelets. Um, the braiding style is actually called Kumihimo which is a Japanese um, braiding technique which produces these lovely little round cords. Um, really really easy, really really simple. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's just go through what we'll need. Um, we'll need some card um, to make our disc on, um, something round to draw around, um, pen, obviously thread, and our beads for, for later. So we'll start off by doing our disc circle. So all you're gonna do is literally draw around something circular and cut it out. It doesn't have to be too precise. Um, actually, obviously that looks a bit more oval, but as long as it's a round shape, that's good enough for us to work with. Um, and then what we need to do is cut our lines into it, which I'll show you in just a second. Okay, not really very neat, but it will do us. So all we're gonna do is eyeball the center, which we go for there and then draw a line across, one down, and then two each side. So again, this doesn't have to be super accurate as long as you've got the basis of the, the disc, that's all we need. So we need to cut a centimetre into each line, just like that. that's it. So we've got eight little portions now um, and we need a little hole in the middle. So be careful when you're doing this. That's just where our thread's going to go through. And that's it. Should look something like that. It's got a little slits in there and a hole in the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside. Now we need to measure up our thread. So all I do, do it again, very roughly, I just do 30 centimetres, 60, 90, about 120. So that's as long as it needs to be. It looks really long, but don't worry, it'll make sense. Um, and once you've measured the first one, you can literally just get your thread, hold it against it and pull it to the end and just snip a bit off and then I think we're going to go for some green as well nice and festive so what we want to have is eight strands that we're going to cut for and fold them over so I'm going to show you how to do a lovely little loop two of each colour. On your last one, on your last fourth one final thread, if you just leave about an extra 20 centimetres maybe, I don't usually measure it but yeah about 15-20 centimetres extra. I'll show you why in a minute. And then we've got our threads ready. So on to the next bit. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the little the little loopy bit um, on the bracelets, which is like that. You can see it's a very nice, neat, knotted end um, that you can put your the end of the friendship bracelet through to knot it. Um, just finishes it off nicely. Bit of extra work, but it is worth it. So what we're going to do is fold it in half. That way, make sure the long bit is on the left hand side and then what we're going to do is at the top that's where our loop will go so we need to start our knotting roughly about here so if we just sellotape that to I'll sellotape it to the table but if I had a mat that didn't move I'd sellotape it to that so we're going to just stick it on there 
And if you find your long, the longer bit of thread, I can't really show you here, but the longest bit of thread on the left, and then they can just hang down the middle. So what we're gonna do is you put the thread over the main threads and then under, and then pull it tight. And then we go back. So it's called a forward loop and a backwards loop or not. Um, so we go back across the other way, under the other threads, and again, pull tight. And that's our first knot done. After a couple, you should start to see see the pattern and I think probably, I think I usually do between 10 and 15 little knots. There's one back under again. And two. I don't know if you can see, you can't really see from up there, but um, it'll start forming like a really pretty little pattern, um, which will then knot the end of our friendship bracelet. If this is too fiddly for you, you can just tie a knot in the end and just start doing the braid, that's not a problem. Um, I just think this looks really, really cute. I'm gonna carry on doing my loops. You see it's starting to form a nice little, little pattern. So again, we go over the threads under and pull tight. You see how it's nice, nicely knotted. And then back the other way and under again. Sometimes I forget which way I've gone so I have to pay attention. So over and under. back over and under. So it looks really fiddly but it is really easy. Just a little bit of extra time but over and under. You can sort of test it any time to see if it's going to be big enough. If you sort of fold it back on yourself and there's enough space in there to get your little knot through, um, you can, that can be done. So I was going to do just maybe two more. So you always start on the left hand side. So over and under. bit is from the right hand side back over and under again and just pull it tight and then we put it back over to the, the left hand side and that's probably looking about right so you see you bend it over you've got a tiny little loop which you can just pop your knot through when you're tying up your bracelet cool so i think that's done we're on to the next bit okay so now we've got our beginnings of our loop you see pretty nice little pattern we just need to the loop so I just take the bit that I've just been knotting with gather your loop together like that and then just wrap it round I usually tie it in a little bit just one knot round both pieces to start with just so it's a bit easier to do the wrapping Little loop, and then you can just 
wrap it round as many times as you want and then tie I usually do a couple of knots just to keep it secure time to start our braiding so what we need to do is pop our loop in the hole put it through and then just put one thread per little slit so just pop it in the back and go all the way around till you've got one space left you can alternate alternate the colors or you can have you can have all, all different colors you could have one all the same or you could have Four different colours, whatever you like. Okay, so I usually try and have a bit of a detangle underneath because the, the threads are quite long. Um, and there we go, we're ready to start. So what I usually do is hold the disc in front of me and you have the empty one at the bottom, that's always at the bottom. Um, really, really easy, you just count to the, the left. So one, two, three, and that's the thread we're gonna then bring down to the bottom here. Turn your disc again, bottom always facing you. One, two, three, and bring it down again. Turn it round. One, two, three, down to the bottom. I always have a bit of a detangle every couple just so they don't get all mixed up together. It's just a bit easier. Um, so again, one, two, three, that's the thread to bring down bottom. One, two, three. One, two, three. And every now and then I will just sort of pull the, pull the middle, make sure the threads are quite tight to the board so it just makes it a bit easier to not get tangled up. So again, one, two, three. And you just carry on like that. Once you get in the motion of it, you do sort of get a bit of a, a rhythm. See what I mean? It gets a little bit knotted up. I mean, when you're doing this, you probably have it sat over your lap, so it won't get as tangled as easy, but I'm trying to keep it here so I can show you what to do. Great. And just keep going and then eventually you'll start to see your bracelet, you can't really see it at the moment, it'll start to come through through here. So I'm just going to do a little bit and then come back and show you um, what it looks like. So I've been braiding for about probably three minutes now. Um, you can see the cord is starting to form nicely. Uh, it's a nice round little braid, it's really really pretty. Um, you can see it. See how it's starting to come together. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up, and then I'll come back and show you the finished, the finished braid. Right, we've finished our braiding now. As you can see, it's really come together nicely. It's probably about about twenty centimeters long ish. 19 and a half um, I stop there because I've got quite small wrists um, but you can make it shorter if it's for a little one or longer um, or even for an anklet you can make it that bit extra longer there's plenty of thread left so I could have kept going um, 
but I've decided to stop there. So all we need to do now is pull the threads out of the little gaps. And pull our bracelet through the hole again. And there we go. So to finish it off, all we need to do is just tie a knot in the end. Just under where the braid stops. Put it nice and tight. And there we go. Now we just need to snip the end off. I usually leave a bit of a tail. This is not very sharp. There we go. And that's our finished bracelet. Then to put it on, you can just pop the, the knot through the loop. And then tie it on to your wrist. Just tie it over and under. It looks quite nice, you see what I mean, with the loop. Just a nice little finishing, finishing touch. And then talking of finishing touches, if you want to go and add a bead, you can at this point. Um, I've got some little moonstones and pearls. We'll go for a pearl. Obviously, if you've already got a charm, um, you can use that. Gonna add this on here because it's a bead. I've just got a little ball-ended uh, pin. And to attach it, get a jump ring. Open up the jump ring. My supplies are downstairs, but I'm just hook it through one of the little loops, just like that. Pop on your gem or your charm. And here is our finished bracelet. Our little pearl charm. enjoyed this tutorial um, I'd love to see pictures of any friendship bracelets that you've made um, leave me a comment down below let me know if you enjoyed this and um, yeah see you soon